My name is Kristen Reed and I'm a Senior Project Director at the Education Development Center. Family math, we like to define it kind of in conjunction with thinking about what is family literacy also. So a lot of people have heard or a lot of families know that in order to support their children's literacy skills, they should read every night to their child. And we like to send the same message about math. Family math can be something as simple as sorting the laundry with your children at home. So you can sort you know, into different types of groups. So socks, shirts, uh, your daughter's socks, your son's socks, or you could sort by color. So different ways of sorting is, is one of those early math skills. It could be counting things in your house, even setting the table, counting how many forks, how many knives are you using to set the table, and then naming how many you needed in all so that everyone in the family could have, have what they needed to eat. And then also board games and card games are fantastic for really supporting math skills for children. So some card games that I, my family loved were Crazy Eights and Uno, and those are great for numeral recognition, for uh, counting sequences, for even some executive function skills. And then there's also fantastic math storybooks that you can incorporate into bedtime routines or anytime you read stories to your children that really can engage kids in not only developing some of their literacy skills, but also in their math skills. I think families often have a harder time doing math with their children because they're just not sure what to do. And that's part of what we've been really working on in our project, is trying to give families lots of different ideas about how to incorporate it into their daily life. I think if we saw all families doing mathematics at home, we would really see all children ready for kindergarten. So unfortunately, now there's a gap in kindergarten entry. So children from lower income communities tend to enter kindergarten a year or more behind their higher income peers in math, their mathematical knowledge. And I think if we really saw all families engaging in mathematical practices at home, we could really try to eliminate that, that gap. So we really are focused on trying to make sure every family has access and opportunity to give their children that, that rich mathematical background.